You guys, I got totally duped and it wasn't even my fault. I actually thought I was buying the real thing. But I have to tell you, I looking back on it, I really think there were a few telltale signs that maybe it was too good to be true. Not because it was cheaper. I actually paid more for the dupe than the actual thing really cost. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about these. Hey there, it's Tammy, Crafty Mompreneur. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today, I'm talking about how I got duped. Have you seen these granny square cards floating out on the internet? Well, this is the actual real thing. And what I wanna do for you today is I wanna show you how I got duped into buying some fake ones. And we're gonna do a comparison of the two, how similar or how different they are, like how you can check to make sure you're not getting a dupe and why you should never buy a dupe. At the end, I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna go about using this yarn that I used to make my daughter's uh, Taylor Swift Eris Turk quilt. And there's a picture of it right here. And we're gonna do a granny square Sunday and crochet all 50 of these cards. So I don't know how many Sundays it's gonna take. I'm gonna make a few every week and then on Sunday pull cards out that I make the following week. That's the plan. Let's just get into the video. I got duped into buying a counterfeit card stack, the Granny Square card deck, before it was actually released. Here's the situation. I'm scrolling on social media, scrolling, scrolling, right? And I saw this super cool ad for the Square card deck, it had super cute graph. I mean, it was just, it was a great ad. And I had just gotten done making my daughter a Eras Tour blanket using acrylic yarn. Now, I'm not a huge fan of acrylic yarn. I don't normally use a lot of it. Like, there's a couple things that I've been making with acrylic yarn. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I, you know, mainly crochet with like blanket yarn, chenille yarn, I make plushies. I had to go out and I had to buy a lot of yarn for this project and it turned out beautiful and she loves it. And I kind of got the, I got the hang of using acrylic yarn. So saw the ad, I have to have that. I gotta get that. And my thought was I would get it for my birthday. And so I, I immediately started looking around for the, you know, sleuthing around, trying to find where I can order it from, could get it to me in time for my birthday. This was in August. I name any company names here. I'll tag the actual for real one in the description box below. They found somewhere that would get it to me in time. Like, awesome, can't wait, yay. Their site looked so professional that I was like, okay, well, that I should have done a little more research, um, but I didn't because I really just wanted the cards. But I got the card deck and this is what I got. So. It's still car called the Granny Square card deck. And I opened it and I was like, looking at the cards and at first I was like, okay, they, they I mean, they look legit, right? I mean, it, it appeared that it was what it was supposed to be, right? I got the cards. Yay, I got the cards. And I got them before my birthday. So I was happy. And I uh, wasn't happy because I ended up seeing somebody post a TikTok or Instagram or Reel or a short or something showing their card deck. You know how sometimes people get like an advanced copy or things like that? And theirs didn't look like this. It did not look like this. It looked much better, nicer. At that point I was like, I think I got duped. Then I went on to where I ordered from and tried to reach out to their customer service. I was like, I, I don't think I have a legitimate copy. Like, and they would never returned my email or my Facebook message. So then I was like, yep, they're selling counterfeit ones. I realized I had gotten duped. So after more research, what I found, the actual release date or the publication date was gonna be September 10th and then they would be available to ship on that day. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get a legitimate copy and support the creator. I mean, yes, I could use these, it's fine, but I wanted to support the original creator. Counterfeit is just not 
it's not cool. It's not right. I kind of went on my birthday, like onto barnesandnoble.com and I actually found this card deck and it was available for pickup and I put them on hold at the Barnes and Noble by where my daughter lives. And I had messaged her and I said, you can go by and pick up these cards for me and I'll just pay you back for them. They're about 20 bucks. So these are, I paid 25 something for these, okay? We're gonna go into the actual differences here in just a little bit. She was able to pick them up and then she put together a cute little like, birthday basket. And so I didn't even have to buy the second box. My daughter bought them for me for my birthday. So let's go through and I'm gonna take you through some of the differences. So let's look at them. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the two card decks and I'm gonna show you the differences um, in the two decks. So the first thing that you'll notice is the size of the box and the printing of the actual um, granny squares are different. The coloring is also a little bit different. All right, so when we turn them on their side, you're gonna notice a significant difference in the size of the box. It's literally almost half. And then we're gonna just flip them around. The back is blank on the counterfeit one. Um, I'll flip this around. This has, you know, writing on it. So that's the first thing. Like the boxes are definitely different. The lids off, you can tell like, again, nice sturdy, nice box. This one is just crap. It's a crap box, counterfeit, blah. Let's look at brochures. So I will say that the counterfeit one is thicker. This one feels more just like a leaflet which the paper feels nicer. But you can see the front is different. This one says user guide. This one does not. This one says about the blocks. This one says about the squares. This doesn't, doesn't have the same. This has definitely more instruction stitch guide. Um, the other thing I noticed is on the back of these. This is the website that they have on here, but this is not where I ordered it from. And then this is the back of this one. So, and then as far as the cards go themselves, let's compare a card. You can tell in there, but it's very flimsy. This one's definitely, the cards are definitely thicker. That, so that's the differences in each of the things. I don't know how these companies get away with like ripping people off like this. And I just hope that this card deck is a smashing success for Claire Montgomery because it is really nice. And I feel bad that there are people out there that are just knocking it off. And I know what happened. I just want to make sure that you guys know, you know, that there are dupes out there and you'll get the real one. In the next part, I want to kind of go over what you can look for. Um, if you are interested in buying one of these and where the where you can make sure that you're getting one of the nice big fancy real thing First is that the company that you're ordering from is kind of like a well-known company, you know, let's think big box places like Barnes and Noble Amazon things like that. If you go to the publisher's website, the publisher for this is Search Press. They will have a list of where you can buy these. Once I realized what what I did when these came and I saw the video of the girl with the actual ones and they looked a lot different than what I had gotten, that's what I did. They will have a list of the companies who are actually licensed to sell the legitimate Granny Square card deck. With that, I'm going to start a Granny Square Sunday. What I want to do is I want to crochet every single one of these Granny Squares in this card deck. Each Sunday, I'm going to put up a new video that will um, showcase the Granny Squares that I made that week. Some weeks it might be one, some it might be two, it might be, it might be ten. I don't know how many I'm going to have time to do because this is kind of just like a side project. What I'm going to do is crochet all 50 of them using mostly of the yarn that I already have. At the end, I'll have 50 
granny squares and then we can I can kind of decide at that point what to do I just I really want to make all of them and I want to make mostly that in the colors that they have listed my hope is that I don't have to buy too much yarn, but I know there's gonna be some that I have to buy. Oh darn, that means yarn shopping. So how this is gonna work is that I know what I'll do. I'll just close my eyes for this one and I'm gonna pick, I think I can at least make three this week. Let's do five. I'm gonna make five this week. I can make one a day. Let's do that. I'm going to close my eyes so you guys can see which ones I'm picking. Okay, so I'm going to set these off to the side. The ones we get that I'm going to make and see how much yarn I have to buy. <laughs> so the first one is this one, popcorn flower. I think this will, this yellow will do. I don't know. I might buy a different yellow. A teal. Heel. This purple, I have orange. Okay, I have to go to the store. Oh yeah, there's orange on this one too. Okay, all right, so it looks like I'm gonna need to get orange and maybe a yellow. Definitely need to get that color. I don't have hot pink. First round, I have to get hot pink, yellow, orange, and a lime green. So much for using up yarn. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. I guess we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. So I'll take you on that journey when I go to Hobby Lobby. These are our cards for this week. So these, I'll be making these and see how it goes. Now that I know I don't have all the colors for these, I need to go and get some. So in my video next Sunday, I will take you yarn shopping with me and take you through some clips of me making the, the squares. And then next we'll pick new cards based on if I was able to get them all done in a week or if I wasn't. This isn't the only crocheting that I'm gonna be doing all week. Uh, so this is just an extra side thing. What I thought was gonna be used up extra yarn, but that's okay. Hopefully yarn's on sale this week. I need to check. So that's it for today's video. Um, make sure you come back next Sunday for the update of our Granny Square card deck challenge. Let's see what squares I got made and pick new ones. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.